Hello Montessori Center Room children. This is Shannon. I'm here in my kitchen and I have an idea of a simple food that I and my kids really love that maybe you could make with your family. And it's called deviled eggs. So it's hard boiled eggs with a um, little bit of things added, a few ingredients added to the yolks of the egg and then they get smashed and squeezed in like a filling to the middle of the white. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, for parents, I post my um, recipes in an easy to see fashion. This one is from the Food Network, Classic Deviled Eggs. And let's see here, I already have laid out all of the ingredients. So we have distilled vinegar measured out, salt, measured out, yellow mustard, and mayonnaise. And then that will be combined into this bowl and then placed in a baggie for um, the filling for later. And girls and boys, you're gonna have to ask for help from your parents for part of this. Um, boiling the eggs, again, um, just like popcorn, involves a hot stove. So your parents or whoever's caring for you can help you by boiling the eggs for you. And then making sure that they are no longer hot when you start working with them. So right now, I have my eggs that were in the pot, but I put a lot of ice and I dumped out all the hot water. I put in cold water and then I put in ice as well. So that way I know that the inside even of those eggs are safe for children to touch. Okay, so they're no longer hot. And now I'm gonna show you, I have one bowl here with water and one bowl with nothing in it. And then I just remembered I also need a simple butter knife for cutting. And it has just a little bit of ridges on the edge. That'll be important for cutting the egg. And then I also need a cutting board. Okay. So, I'm gonna start by what I love the most, which is cracking the eggs. So, you can take the egg you can use your cutting board or you can do it at the bottom of the sink, whatever works best for you. You drop it and crack it. You can see the crack that happened there. So I crack it and then I roll it. And then it starts to crumble. And I can put this in the water bowl. And let's see if you can see it here. I'm gonna put this in the bowl of water and then just start to peel off the edge. And the water, I can just leave those pieces of shell in the water. You don't have to worry about picking them up. And I'm gonna to try to keep the egg as whole as possible. It's very easy to split the egg. So you may need help with this as well but you can try standing on a step stool at the sink and taking off the shell. All right, and then I take the egg and rub it with my fingers once all the shell is off to make sure all the pieces of shell get off. Then I shake it and put it onto the cutting board. Now here, you can see that there's a long side of the egg and a short side of the egg. What I'm gonna do is cut it down the long side of the egg. So I'm gonna make a tunnel like this with my fingers, and then use the edge of the knife to go through the tunnel, and then push straight down. And it, <laughs> and it created two symmetrical sides. Look at that. All right, so now I'm going to carefully try to put the yolk into this bowl. 
I'm just gonna gently push it out. Oh, and most of it fell right out. And then I can put my other white part right here. And I have to say, I was really lucky that those yolks came out so easily. A lot of times, my white part will break when I'm trying to get the yolk out. So if you need help with that, you can ask for help. Try it yourself. And if you um, break all of your whites, that's okay because you can still eat the broken pieces with the filling, which also tastes just as good. So that's how you can do it. And I'll do a few more. of cracking and then peeling the egg into the water. I'm gonna use my hands to get all of those broken pieces off. Set it down, make my tunnel Hold my knife, go through the tunnel, and straight down. There it is. Now we're going to bust out the yolk. And sometimes it gets all over your fingers, that's okay. Keep going with a few more. Oh wow, that one broke as I was trying to get the shell off. But I can still take the yolk and put it in the bowl. That one cracked in the middle too. And some people like to dye eggs in the springtime. And if you have a lot of hard boiled eggs around your house, this is a fun project to do. So even if you color the outside of your eggshells, you can still eat the eggs. And when you color the outside shell, sometimes those colors come into the white also. So you can decide if you want to eat an egg that looks blue or pink or green. If you're comfortable with that, you can.
And this shell doesn't want to come off very well. There we go. Tunnel. Oh, that one split down the middle too. <laughs> the yolk. And the whites. The shells are kind of sharp when they break and the egg white is so smooth and soft and I would love to hear how you would describe it while you're making deviled eggs. All right, so now I have all of my eggs cut in some way and all of the yolk in this bowl. And now I get to bring my ingredients over to make the filling. So we have, or sorry, yogurt. <laughs> it looks like yogurt. Mayonnaise. Bring that in. A little bit of mustard, salt, and a little bit of vinegar. So different families have different recipes. So if you have a recipe that you like, I would love to know about that in the comments below. And maybe whether or not you've ever had deviled eggs or spiced eggs before. Now with this, what I'm doing is I'm taking all of the eggs and I'm smashing them up against the side. You can use a wooden spoon or I just thought of another idea. use a potato masher. Just have to make sure the bowl is pretty wide. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's getting all of the ingredients mixed up and it's really fun. <laughs> the whites and the yellows of the yolks and the yellows of the mustard changing color together. I think I still need this spoon though. So I'm going to take all of the ingredients off of the masher and then stir them up a little bit more. Once you think it's done, even if it's not totally smooth, that's okay. You can put it into a plastic baggie. Scoop it. Put it in. Grab the spoon and slide it off. And keep doing that until you get all of your filling into the baggie.
you seal it or have someone help you seal it. And then you can also mash it with your hand. Just make sure that while you're mashing, if the top comes open, it will squirt out. So be careful to try to do it at the bottom of the bag, mostly. If you feel those little um, chunky parts, then you can smash it up with your fingers. And then this is my favorite part, which is squirting the filling into the little holes of the eggs. So first I need to get all the mixture away from one corner. So I'm gonna squeeze it away from that corner and then cut the end off. There we go. Put that away. Put the scissors away. And then I'm ready for squeezing. So you just squeeze it into the egg until it's full like it would be with a regular yolk. So before I started this work, I had washed my hands, very important. But even though I washed my hands before I started cooking, I still need to wash them again before I start eating. So. I could sing the ABC song or happy birthday. I'm going to sing the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I've said the a, B, C, next time won't you sing with me? Sounds like a long time to wash your hands, but this is the only way we're going to get all of the germs off. All right, so my hands are clean. I'm ready to try the spiced or deviled eggs. Mmm, it's delicious. I hope you get to try this at home. And if you do, please either take a picture of it or maybe something else that you've made or helped to make in your own kitchen at home. All right, thank you all. Bye.